And our last guest of the evening would be none other than Chris Barton. Chris, are you there? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is about uh, a stupid 30 where you're at. And I'm very sorry that we've gone on for a while, but you, you actually seem to be rather chipper. How are you feeling tonight? I, I'm I'm doing good. I'm I'm pretty much a night owl anyway, so you know. <laughs> so yeah, it, musicians tend to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, these are my um, usually my songwriting hours and stuff. Sometimes, <laughs> so <laughs> especially like when you work all day and um, the evenings are are my times to just kind of spend time with the Lord and uh, and write write songs when I can and. Um, I've got a lot of other things that have been going on recently. Uh, but yeah, that's, so it's, I, I'm, I'm good. Probably in about an hour and a half though, I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty zonked, but, <laughs> but I'm good well, for now. Well, let's, yeah. let's go ahead and get, get your, your session started. What would you like to share with us first? Yeah. So I actually, I mean, I had a, a different plan, but, um, as Mark was speaking, uh, and some, something you mentioned earlier, there were some things that both of y'all said that uh, reminded me of the song that I uh, co-wrote with my friend uh, Joya Smith, and it's it's just called Mighty Plans, and um, it's about you know God being faithful to do what He said and to um, the the whole idea. Um, started with a bridge that I had written. My pastor had preached this message about the scripture that says, um, I have not seen nor ear heard what God has planned for them that love him. Um, and my pastor said, you know, the scripture says that no eye has seen and no ear has heard. And he said, that includes the enemy. And he said, God's got blessings for you that even the enemy doesn't know about and uh so that's kind of where it started and then it just kind of morphed into this uh this song so i'm gonna i'm gonna play that um so this is just called mighty plans Even when I don't understand, 
I still trust in your goodness You've been faithful before You're still faithful right now No power in hell could prevent What you're doing You've been faithful before You're still faithful right now Nothing could ever stand against Your mighty plans mm, Your mighty plans You've got good plans for me That the enemy doesn't even know about now I won't let fear or doubt rob me of what you are working out. You've got good plans for me that the enemy doesn't even know about now. I won't let fear or doubt rob me of what you are working out. You've got good plans for me and the enemy doesn't even have the power to stop, hinder, or block the blessings turning in my favor. Oh, you've been faithful before, you're still faithful right now. No power in hell could prevent what you're doing. You've been faithful before. You're still faithful right now. Nothing could ever stand against your mighty plans. Mm, your mighty Your mighty plans. Wow. <laughs> Chris, that was really neat. Um, we are wondering, is that a real Fender Rhodes you're playing? Uh, you talking about the guitar or the No, what you were just playing a second ago. Um what 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 instrument were you playing? It was making these mechanical noises, and I was wondering if it was oh the piano. I'm I'm playing a Yamaha piano. Oh, okay, like like a uh, like, like a, a C, CP seven something like that, or probably a little yeah, smaller. So so I have it. Um, I have it turned on the electric piano sound on my uh -huh. piano. So yeah, it's it sounded beautiful, and I and I I was. But but again, I was I was saying in the the uh, the comments, it's like, wow, those lyrics are so powerful. We're we're having such a good night tonight of of just getting deep into God's heart and to realize. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, I I have never heard it before. But you're right. God has plans for us that even Satan doesn't know, and Satan can't even come against. And of course, you know. No right. weapon formed against us will prosper. But to put all that together, that was so, so neat. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Yeah, the, it was um, when when I, I've, I've read that scripture and studied that scripture for years and years. And um, it never that that thought never even occurred to me. But the moment my pastor started preaching, it was like, there's there's a song in that there's a song there's a song there and uh i knew i knew like i just knew it had to be written and um uh, uh i had a co-write with my friend and i was just like look uh this is an idea that i had that i really want to write and uh yeah she helped me flesh flesh it out and it i i mean she can sing it a lot better than i can uh but you know, it's just, 
it's one of those songs that I just felt in, in my soul, you know? And, uh, yeah. I, 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 I like, I like your Trace accent, Atkins, uh, you know, baritone that, that, I don't know. It was like, it sounded really good. I, I enjoyed it. And, uh, I, I was gonna say if you ever if you ever make a demo of that, send it to him. I, I bet he might might be interested. <laughs> that would be Maybe, fun. Uh, well, uh, the funny thing is I, I think we wrote it in a different key, but um I'm more comfortable playing in the key that I played it tonight. And I because I don't normally sing in that my lower register. It's it's um I kinda have a um interesting time with with that sometimes but uh um i do it i i do a lot more of it when i do more of uh the country style music that because i write some country uh christian and then uh not a lot but i do write some um so i that voice that baritone is more conducive to that kind of music so when you uh -huh. mentioned 20 seconds i'm like yep that's uh, <laughs> yep i get it <laughs> yeah i yeah i i just i love music so much and i i i have such a vocabulary of, of musicians and styles and whatnot and it's just fun like like you know rem you know losing my religion i i i love mary you know bringing that out that was so cool but anyways, this is about you right now chris That's what funny. would you like to share <laughs> i i i'm just you know what i mean it's it's this is your turn though what would you like to share with us next it's all good. Um, I'm kind of torn <laughs> at the moment because I, um, okay. Let me, let me share this, 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 um, one song and then I'm going to just do one more after this one and, and, and call it quits. Uh, okay. That's fine. Um, so this one, um, is just called uh, "Standing on the Rock," and uh, it's a it's a fairly new one. It's it's pretty simple, but um, um, recent. Uh, I just wrote it recently. Um, we were in church, and um, it, once again, my pastor was standing in the pulpit, and he was talking about standing on the rock, and he was stomping his foot, but it was like his his foot stomping was in perfect timing and so i was like oh i gotta i gotta it it started you know the ball started rolling in my head i was like yep i gotta i'm gonna i'm gonna write a song about this so that's what i did so this is just called standing on the rock though the rains fall down Though the winds keep circling, I will not be afraid. My feet are fixed in place. With Jesus, I am safe. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. And I will not be, I will not be moved. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock, I'm standing on the rock, and I will not be, I will not be moved, I'm standing on the rock. When I fight the enemy, when he tries to hinder me, I will not lose my faith. I'll laugh straight in his face. I have the victory. Cause I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. And I will not be, I will not be moved. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. And I will not be, I will I'm standing on the rock There is no God like my God 
There is no king like my king. There is no rock like my rock. He holds me steady. He holds me steady. There is no God like my God. There is no king like my king. There is no rock like my rock. He holds me steady. He holds me steady. There is no God like my God. There is no king like my king. There is no rock like my rock. He holds me steady. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. And I will not be, I will not be moved. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. And I will not be, I will not be moved. I'm standing on the rock. Chris Barton coming to us from East Texas, bringing, oh, some really inspired, Holy Spirit inspired music. And, and it, it was like, it was like when you played that A chord, it was like, you, you, when you chunked that thing, it was like, ugh, oh my gosh, you you were like saying, you know, this is, this is where I'm standing. I'm not moving. And, yeah. oh, loved it. Loved it. It was so good. Um, got Elizabeth saying how, you know, she loved it. Kim Romero says, that's how it's done. Um, Elizabeth Holdhouse, not shamelessly plugging her other bosses, you know, stuff but she says i heard them on cms so so it's okay we you know you know what the, there's no competition the lord loves us all and it's so much fun but anyways chris you're 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 making friends already and this is good you you just made one with me i i i i, I have heard that song before so maybe maybe i was on maybe i was on a show with you i don't know but oh that was good you said you want to do one more now. I might have a hard time telling everybody the show's over if you do one more. You might need a, another, but but for now, let's let's just assume you're going to do one more and just bring it on. Come on. Okay. Well, I mean, like I do, I do have more prepared, so I'll I'll do um, I'll do this one that I wrote um, a few years ago. Uh, Call better, it's just called better with you. Gotta get my guitar wanted to fall out of tune for a minute. Okay. There we go. All right. I know I made mistakes sometimes And I don't always get it right I fall no matter how hard But you help me get back up again And tell me that I'm your friend Yeah, that's the way you've always been And Lord, I'm better With you in my life And I would have never Thought that you'd stay here by my side even though I don't do all the things I know to do, I know I'm better with you. 
I know I make mistakes sometimes And I don't always get it right I fall no matter how hard I try But you help me get back up again And tell me that I'm your friend Yeah, that's the way you've always been Lord, I'm better with you in my life and i would have never thought that you'd stay here by my side even though i don't do all the things i know to do i know i'm better with you when i start everything up when I forget that your grace is enough you remind me that your love and mercy are always holding me Lord I'm better Thought that you stay here by my side Even though I don't do all the things I know to do I know I'm better with you I'm so much better with you Lord, I'm better better with you better with you by chris barton man grace and mercy are always holding me wow yes 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 wow i i am i'm just you're 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 writing you know stuff that's not you know seeker friendly church stuff you're you're getting into your heart and you're saying i got stuff but i'm always better with god and oh Amen. good stuff how how are you feeling are are you up for one more song do you want to call it quits yeah, yeah uh, i'm actually um i do have one more that i wanted to end with um and it's it's um it's just called one life and uh, it kind of goes along with uh mark's message um because the bridge is just says we've got a calling we've got a mission to share the love of jesus uh we've got a purpose we've got a reason so let's get started and you know like god can use like mark was saying god god can use and he wants to use um us to spread the gospel to share the love of jesus and um and we only have one life to do it so that's pretty much the message of this song it's not about who we are, but about who we serve and how to make a difference here. You gotta be his hands and feet, you gotta be bold and sweet. Can't keep giving in to fear We've got one life One heart One chance to break the dark We've got one love One light One moment Now's the time We've got one life One 
You know, you know, sometimes I come into these sessions thinking that the state of worship music and Christian music is kind of going sideways. And and I and I I believe that the Holy Spirit is, is just crying out to musicians and to uh singer-songwriters and people just to to sing the truth. And right. and I hear stuff like your your music, and I'm so encouraged. I'm so um, just hopeful that that this this you know, world isn't going to suck all the life out of the musicians. That's it. In fact, God is going to bring us more truth, more life, more uh, abundance, and and wisdom, and understanding, and knowledge. It's going to be so much fun. And occasionally, I, I I I shouldn't listen to, you know, some of the major music sta or Christian music stations because I kind of, you know. But but I just love hearing truth. And Chris, just real quick, how how has God spoken to you to write just really neat, Holy Spirit filled, Jesus loving songs? Well, I t I tell you, um, you know I. I started writing songs when I was when I was 16 and uh, my journey in songwriting <clears throat> didn't start with writing Christian music but I wrote um, I wrote songs from a deep um, 
deep feelings that I had. And uh, at first, I, like when I first started writing, I uh, was writing from some pretty dark places of, of depression and, and uh, um, just feeling an inward struggle, an inward battle and not really knowing how to overcome. And when, when um, God started shifting things in my life, um I just I just felt like he was telling me you're you're writing from this deep place but I want you to understand that I'm in the deep place too. And um you're writing from these places of darkness but I'm in the places in those dark places with you. And so I started just thinking like okay there's got to be hope for people even in the even in these deep places and i've always been a deep internal processor anyway um and so i just feel like you know when when i write a song i just there's a, a depth in my soul that I, i've got to go to and just dig from that well you know just mm -hmm. just draw from that well of how god changed my life in the deep and dark places of my heart and of my soul and mm -hmm. brought light to those areas and that's been the whole goal all along is to to bring hope to bring light to bring uh encouragement and strength to um to people and to to speak the truth to speak the the word of god and you know and to um to just write real things um right from a real place and and god has really he's really uh, helped me develop over the years and and you know given me um amazing opportunities to share share music and to collaborate with other people and to really grow and um it just you know it it's just something when you can draw from your personal experience in your in your songwriting, your personal experience with God, and um, because I th I think that's what helps convey the message of it. Because you're not just writing you're, you're not just writing music, you're not just writing words on a page, right? Yeah. You are you are writing from the revelations that God has given you through His Word, through prayer, through hearing the preached word of God, you're writing from these deep places where God has ministered to you. And so I feel like, you know, when you can, when you can write from that place, um, God, God can use it to minister to other people in a, in a, in a different way, you know? Um, so yeah, anyway, hope that answers. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Mr. Barton, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing your your um, your first tenor to baritone voice. You you got pretty high there on that last <laughs> song. I, I loved it, and uh, I just want to pray for you and just pray for your ministry and and what's coming up. And God, God, thank you for this man who loves you, who who deep. I I would even venture to say he's a man after your own heart Lord. he is in touch with not only where he is with his with the depths of his soul but god he knows you're there with him that you have answers to questions he may, may not have even thought to ask that lord you have blessed him with things that maybe he doesn't even know he has yet but god you are there you are bringing him your blessings. You're you're reaching deep into your storehouse, Lord, and bringing him just cattle and 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 abundance. I just thank you for this man. I pray that that his personal life, God, if if there's stuff going on, I just pray that you would you would put a hedge about him, God, that you would protect him, that you would uh, allow him to fold within the shadow of your wing for comfort, but then Lord also to step out like he says that it's time to get out and do the work of God. I just thank you for all that this man has been given 
and Lord, that you would continue to give him and bless him and give him fruit in his ministry. And I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How did people find you, Mr. Barton? Yeah, so um, most most of the social media platforms, it's just Chris Barton Music. Um, and then I also have um, just I have just a single um, <laughs> called You Are My Hope that's out on all the streaming platforms. And it's just under Chris Barton. So, yep. Well, very, very good. And again, I'm so glad you came. I'm glad you shared that last song. I was a little, little Appreciate worried that you might have pooped out on us. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you nailed it. I, I am so thankful. Thank you again. Well, you,